Hello and welcome to the spoken tutorial on doc type and head section in HTML. In this tutorial, we will learn about doc type and the tags inside the head section in HTML. To practice this tutorial, you should have basic knowledge of HTML. If not, then go through the corresponding tutorials on this website. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux 16.04 operating system, HTML5, gedit text editor, and Firefox web browser. However, you may use any other editor or browser of your choice. The files used in this tutorial are available in the code files link on this tutorial page. Please download and extract them. Every HTML document must begin with the doc type declaration. Doc type tells the browser about the type of the document we are using. This is the syntax. For HTML5, we have to type doc type HTML. The word doc type has to be written in capital letters. Let us have a look at this. I have already opened the HTML file mypage.html in a text editor. Notice the first line of this document. We have declared the doc type as HTML. Now open this file in a web browser. I have opened this in a Firefox web browser. The browser displays the formatted content inside the body tag, but not the information about the page. Let us check that. Go to the tools menu in the top, then select page info. A page info dialog box opens with the information about the page. In the general tab, Notice in the type field, it says text slash HTML. Note, this page info option is available only in Firefox web browser. This is not available in Google Chrome web browser. Close the page info dialog box. Next, let us learn about the tags inside the edge section. Inside the edge section, we can use the following tags title, style, meta, link, script, base. We will learn them one by one. Switch to the text editor. I will modify the code for this part of the demonstration. I have updated the edge section with a few tags. Pause the video and update your code as shown here. Now let us go through them one by one. We can set the title for a page with the help of title tag. Using the style tag, we can set the styles for the elements. We can link other files like CSS, JavaScript, HTML in our file using the link tag. With this, we can incorporate the linked file properties into our current file. But we cannot create a clickable link using this tag like an anchor tag. Using the script tag, we can write some scripts like JavaScript to perform some action. Here I have written a simple script. It gives an alert with this message when the page opens. It is not mandatory to write the script tag inside the edge section. We can also write it elsewhere in the body section. Using the meta tag, we can provide metadata like author, description and keywords for the page. This will be helpful when we search this page using a search engine. Here I have provided the author information and the keywords for this page. We can define the base URL for the page using the base tag. We will learn this in detail in a little while. Let us save the code now. 
Switch to the browser and refresh the page. On doing so, we get a pop-up with a message, Welcome to Spoken Tutorial. This means that the script tag has executed successfully. Click on the OK button to close this pop-up. In the Browsers tab, notice the text Farmers Market. We have mentioned this inside the title tag. Also, notice that our page has an aquamarine background color. But note that in the code of mypage.html, I haven't set any color for the background. So, how did the background of the page get set to aquamarine? This is because I have linked mystyle.css file using the link tag in mypage.html file. Let us open the file mystyle.css in a text editor. Here in mystyle.css file, I have set the background color to aquamarine. And I have also set the text align as left for the body tag. Therefore, these child properties get incorporated in the HTML file. That is why the background of the page is set to aquamarine and the text get aligned to the left. Notice that some lines appear in red color in the browser window. This is because inside the style tag, we have set the text color for the paragraph tag to red. We have also given some metadata information in the code. Here in the output, there is no trace of that. As I mentioned earlier, this information is useful when we search a page in a search engine. In the Firefox browser window, let us once again go to the tools menu at the top and select the option page info. The page info dialog box opens. In the general tab, notice the meta information. Here, we can see the meta information of the author and keywords which we gave in the code. Let us close the page info dialog box. Next, let us see what a base tag does. A website may have multiple sub pages like Home, About Us, Contact. The address for these will appear as shown. In this case, the base URL mysite.com will be common. We can use the base tag to define the base URL for the site or its content. This is the syntax. And here is an example. With this, we come to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we have learned about doc type, title, style, meta, link, script, and base tags in HTML. As an assignment, open the file myhomepage.html which you created earlier. Create an alert with the message, welcome to my page. Add the author information and keywords to your page. The video at the following link summarizes the spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. Spoken tutorial project team conducts workshops and gives certificates. For more details, please write to us. Please post your timed queries in this forum. Spoken tutorial project is funded by MHRD Government of India. This is Praveen from IIT Bombay signing off. Thank you for joining.